welcome to System Test 6. Alright, so I have the 4005 here still, um, like always. Full station, finally do not have a T-bar, I have my Cerberus Powertronics MSX, there's a module on the back, but I um, currently have it bypassed, so I'm just using it as a conventional full station. And these pull stations were actually for the Powertronics XL3 panel. So, smokes are all the same. So, the strobe in the um, closet is still the same. I'm not really getting back there right now. I have a bunch of stuff in the way. But, for the Horum, I have the Faraday 6235 also known as the Siemens UHN S17 and this one doesn't have any um, fire letterings on the side or the front and it is also the weatherproof version as you can see right there but it's never been used outside and out here I have my ESL 10311 Kind of like an ADT 505001, except in its original maker, ESL, and it actually takes a hex key. And oh, over here, I have my Gentex GMS 1575 Candela Strobe, and it's got the mechanical horn back there. I was hoping to get a Siemens U H and H. Um, I actually found one for sale, and I purchased it. It actually it was also white and weatherproof, like the. Um, um, UHN and it was also the sync module which I actually didn't have a problem with because I do actually have a Siemens sync module but unfortunately I got to cancel because the um apparently there wasn't any in stock which is actually I find quite interesting because it was the only one that was ever sale there wasn't a quantity at all it was just the only one so so I put the GMS here since essentially this is actually the same as a UH and H so if you guys don't know the difference between the UH and H and the UHN is that the UH and H was for high um, high areas. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Maybe there's a better way to say it. But like basically, I should say a larger area because the horns were actually a little bit louder. Yeah, believe it or not, the horns were louder than the um, UHN. Which and I did look up the specs to that, so because I was curious to know what it was. So anyway, I do actually have a system coded to code 3. For once I'm coding, I have the um, system set on code 3. And I will demonstrate march time and um, continuous as well. But yeah, so we're going to pull the MSX. I do have the um, strobe, so I don't select the silence. Like I said, I won't go in the closet, but the 9176 is still flashing in there. I don't know why I grabbed this key. So, 
don't need it. So now we're gonna pull the ESL pull station. That acknowledge. Thank you. So now, front of it, we'll also do the um, smoke detector out here. Yep, we'll go ahead and reset the pull stations. Now I had to find a um, good um, hex set for this because I was these actually take different hex um, hex keys than what you normally find in your standard set. Believe it or not, I'll also open it up. Yep. It is an MSX, and you can kind of see the module back there. Just kind of wanted to do that just for piece of knowledge. There you go. There you go. Now, also, so it takes, it actually takes this one on the big side. It's got a plastic bag as well, but there's actually metal behind it. You see. going to reset and I'll do different coding options. All right, be right back. All right, now it's time for code three, and we'll actually use the duct detector. I'm sorry, I mean March time.
All right. So now, on to continuous. That sounded cool. So now, reset for the final time. Still flashing in here. Still flashing out here. And that's it. Ask any questions you got. If you're new to the channel, please subscribe. Take care. Have a great day.